and I thought I would do something really fun and do a Super Bowl makeup and I was going to originally do like one side Patriots and one side Giants but my boyfriend's a Patriots fan so I thought I would just do the Patriots and honestly they're very similar colors so you can kind of do the exact same thing for the Giants. I may do one um, for the Giants but I don't know. They're such similar colors. I was hoping it was going to be the 49ers so I could do something really different um, plus I like the 49ers but it wasn't, so you can kind of do the same thing for both, just mix it up if you want. But anyway, I'll zoom in so you can kind of check it out. It's got red, white, glitter, uh, blue. That's pretty much it. So I know that this is like totally over the top, not everyday wearable makeup, but that's what it's supposed to be. So just for all those people who want to leave comments like you look better with natural makeup or whatever. Um, I know that this is over the top, but it's t it's totally supposed to be. So it's really fun. Super Bowl is big, over the top, and I thought this would be really fun to do. So I hope you guys all like this video, and if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Hey guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is put a base all over our lid. I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and Milk, and just do this like super liberally. Um, because as you pat it in, it does get a little less white and do it all over the inner corner until it looks super messy like that. Take your finger and start blending it. You don't want to like blend it all out. You still want that like nice white base to be there. This is going to help our pigment stick and it's also going to give us like a nice neutral base so that our colors really pop and really stand out. I'm also going to take a little bit just under my eye. Alrighty, now I'm going to take my MAC pigment in vanilla. And what brush am I going to use? This one right here. It's just like a little short brush I got at Ulta quite a while ago. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the pigment on my brush, push it into the brush in the lid, and start applying this all over the inner corner. We are going to like add more of this later because when we put the red on, you'll see it kind of like starts to overtake the vanilla pigment and we want to blend them together seamlessly. So we add this first here and then um, we're going to put a little bit more on later. So keep applying that right in the inner corner. And just don't put that pigment away. Just keep that out. I'll just keep it open because it's annoying to keep opening it. Now I'm going to take my, this is a pigment sample because I get a lot of pigment samples because it's really hard to use an entire pigment thing. So uh, samples are like really easy way to do it. This is in basic red. It's from MAC. And there's actually probably enough in the lid. I might add a little bit more. Just another like brush from Ulta. This is actually a synthetic one. And I'm just going to start like in the center. And we're going to pat this in. And we want it to be pretty red. This is going to go all over the eye, so I actually will need a little bit more of that pigment. Just you want to focus on the center and then kind of just go over a little bit right here to just kind of blend them together. Take it out and I just like blend a little bit in the crease, but we are going to do that later too. So kind of all the way to the edge of the eye. Okay, and it doesn't need to be really clean. That's perfect. Now I'm going to take a blending brush. This one's from Smashbox. I'm just going to kind of focus in the outer corner. And just do those windshield wiper motions. And just blend it. And you do want to blend it up just a tiny bit, not too high, just a little. And then kind of just brush really lightly because we want that white to stay there, but we just want to kind of blend them. And just go right over the center to blend that a little bit. All right, now I'm going to take one of my favorite crease brushes. Pr brushes oh. This is my Sony Kashuk one. And I'm going to grab my favorite e.l.f. palette ever. And I'm going to use this blue right here. So just put like the tip of your brush in there. Swirl it around. And we're going to start in the outer part of the eye. And we're just going to blend that in. We don't want too much product because we really want it to like gently sweep in. 
Blend it down a little, not too much. All right, now we're gonna go back to that vanilla pigment right here. And I'm gonna take that brush I used to blend the red out and I'm gonna kind of just clean it off a little bit on a cotton pad, but I still like a little bit of that red left over, so that's okay. Just leave a little, I don't wanna leave a lot. Just dip that right in your vanilla pigment and swirl it in the lid. And we're just gonna go over everything. It kind of makes it all like a little shiny and sparkly. And it's really pretty and it like highlights that white inner corner again. Okay, now I'm going to take a little Q-tip. This one has like a pointed end. Put it in some makeup remover and really swirl it off. And then I'm going to use this to make a sharp edge right along here. Just pull back and then twist. And it should start making that edge. You'll have to go over it probably a few times. And I'm doing this before my eyeliner because I want to make sure that I know exactly where to place my eyeliner, like right even with this little wing. Okay, so now that we have that there, we're going to do our liner. I'm using my MAC Liquid Last Liner in Inky. It's a really um, deep kind of navy blue. And you're just going to start in the inner corner. And make it really thin right in the inner corner. And a little thicker as you come out. We're just going to do this a tiny, tiny, tiny little wing. Not even really much of one at all. Just kind of like bring it to the edge and then just flick it out just a little. But not too much. Because we really want the, the highlight is the color not the liner. Now we're going to accentuate that angle there by taking um, my pencil and milk here and I'm going to use an eyeliner brush and I'm just going to take some of that color and I'm going to draw a line right against that wing and just try to make it really white like right like a really white even line and then you're just going to blend that out with the brush in your finger until you just have like a little bit of white there. And that looks really even with the other side. All right, so that is good to go. Now I'm gonna take my Stila Smudge Stick in Stingray and I'm gonna put, oh wait, that's the wrong one, sorry, it's this one. And I'm gonna put this all along the waterline. Oh, I also forgot, take that brush with that blue on it Take a little bit more and just run that right under the eye. Totally forgot about that. And then a little bit more of your vanilla pigment, if you didn't already do it, just to go and meet that blue kind of halfway and just blend those together. Okay, now for the eyeliner. This is like my absolute favorite part because I've never done a tutorial with this and it's the coolest um, mascara ever. I think I said eyeliner, but I meant mascara. It's a Dior show in blue, and this blue is like electric blue. So we're gonna put a good amount of that on, and that's really gonna highlight the blue in the eye, and then bring kind of another even dimension of blue, because it's like brighter, and we're gonna put this on the top and bottom lashes. The last thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of milk right underneath of my brow bone. I know, don't comment on my brows, please. I know I need to get them threaded, but I was waiting because I have a wedding, so I'm getting them done this weekend. Doesn't really fit for the tutorial, but whatever. I'm gonna fill my brows in really quick, and then I will zoom out and we will do lips and cheeks. So I already had, I just used my like Benefit brow pencil with that. I'm gonna use one of my new blushes. This is Hervana by Benefit, and it's just like a, pinwheel of colors. I'm going to be blogging about this really soon if I haven't already, so I will link it below. And if not, follow me on Twitter and then you will know about every time I vlog. Oh my gosh! I forgot the most important step. I have my matte glitter here. I'm just going to take a little bit of this, put it right on my finger, just like that. I'm going to share it with my other finger, kind of tap it off. And this goes right in the outer corner. 
of the eye and kind of around. Can you see? I can't believe I was going to forget that. That's my favorite part. Okay, so then um, for lip color, I'm going to use my new favorite lipstick, my Maybelline 14-hour um, lipstick. This one is really, really awesome. And I'm just going to use this pretty lightly. It's just a really pretty baby pink. And I think it's really cool for game day. So that is it for my Super Bowl Patriots look. I hope you guys like it. Um, so I hope you guys like it. Let me zoom in so you can see one more time. It's got the red and the blue and the silver and the white. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I will see you all next time. Bye!